Wake up! It's feeding time! Right back here, the big guy versus food. My voice is uh, a little hoarse, of course. <laughs> I uh, I lost it, so it's uh, we're gonna we're not gonna be uh, overdoing it. Probably gonna overdo it. I always overdo it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I clearly am gonna. My voice is gonna be worse after doing this. It's Sunday though. Cheat meal time. I got a 24-hour fast coming up, so this is my last meal here. It's. Uh, and that's going to be before four o'clock here at Vegas time. And, uh, and then I'll, I'll work out tomorrow and then eat a big, big meal right at four o'clock after my workout. I'll time that all to get that done. But today, guys, oh, the king has done it again. <laughs> the king. Today, I got a BK. Pretzel bun burger. Doubles. We got doubles, guys. No little bitch single burgers over here. Oh, no. Got a little bit of meat stuff on me. That wasn't too appealing, but we'll let that slide. I just got done doing a massive 45-set leg workout. 40 minutes on the elliptical. Ooh. This looks like it's a heart attack waiting to happen guys luckily monster workout this is going to fit into my calories for the day the 24 hour fast is going to rebalance everything hopefully do one of those a week for health benefits and thus far everything is great health wise there's some people on here on youtube i'm very concerned about though i've seen some of the food reviews and some of the other some of the other things out there and uh it's pretty concerning but you can never control just hopefully everyone takes care of themselves and does what makes them happy and you know a little cheat meal never hurt anybody from time to time you do cheat meals all the time shut up i'm also jacked and in shape and work out 40 50 set workouts so suck it all right guys I got the cheese let's take a look on the inside what do they got going on on the inside a lot going on we got mayo bacon cheese and then pretzel bun. We don't got any mustard on this one. Because we have two. One with mustard. One without. Because on this channel, this not little bitch channel, we always need more information. Speaking of which, guys, and I got my Feed Me More Ryback shirt on here. All our shirts are on Teespring here at Ryback TV. And through that, that will be the, the t-shirt money will actually be the money that we use uh, to cancel WWE's trademark of my name, Ryback. And that will be the final closure on all of that whole deal. And then if I ever go back and then they have to pay me for everything to use my name. So either way, I'll get it. It's just, they, uh, it is what it is. Who cares? All right, let's, I think we need to, we need to consume some information here. I'm not going to lie, guys. These have some weight to it. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> These burgers aren't light in the pants. That's for goddamn sure. Mm. 
This is no mustard. Mm. Very good. Good old feed me more nutrition. Mm. I wipe my face a lot, guys, because I have a beard. And food always finds its way into the beard. And I don't feel like doing these videos and having like food all over my face, like an asshole. Tell you the king. The king knows his burgers about as well as anyone. Mm. I'd like to picture the king many centuries ago sitting at the round table with his little servants just serving these burgers with his recipe, of course. And the legend of the king lives on today through Burger King. That's what I like to imagine. Mm. These pretzel buns. I like them. One done, one down, one to go. More information. Those pretzel burgers, that's gonna put on, I like it. I went to bed at 301 pounds last night, woke up at 296, so I lost about five pounds. And I, uh, my voice is a little better now. That's nice. I really strained my vocal cords the other night. I was working on some promos. Sometimes I just do promos by myself. I do it actually quite a bit. Which comes down to me sitting around talking to myself. But I'm actually doing promos on random situations. Because I, I've, I started doing that many years ago. I do it while I'm driving as well. I'll just go into a scenario in my head in my response. I've done some long ones at times, and I like, it's almost like a blackout. It just lets me know, though, sometimes you just hit that groove. I think that's just like my, that's the pro wrestler in me. That, and that's, I would imagine that's the same as like a, a musical artist or somebody that just kind of is practicing. And you get that, you hit that flow state sometimes. And I, I, I remember, and I, because I haven't done it in forever. Marijuana is legal here in Vegas and I'm not a big I don't I don't like it like I can't it gives me anxiety and it's like I don't have anxiety normally that CBD has been it's given me anxiety too even which is weird certain ones of it so I'm not even doing that for inflammation or anything but I remember one night I did some gummies and I uh, I debated setting up a camera I think I did like a 20 minute promo on what don't ask me and at the time, I thought it was the greatest thing ever, but I needed to have it recorded. That would have been a great YouTube video, but things we do just to let me know that I still got it. All right. Oh, a little piece of bacon. These burgers, guys, this is the mustard burger. These pretzel buns will put on some weight. I'll probably go to bed at 3.04 tonight. Just a big water log. Mm. I like squeezing the pretzel bun. Caress, how you doing, Burger?
information. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. I was off. I'll just sweet talk my food. Mm. I'm not really. Like, I, I don't hate mustard, but I also don't love it. I could eat it at times. This this tastes really good with the mustard. Mm. These pretzel buns make me thirsty. Going through, flying through my the rest of my finish it branch chain amino acids. Man. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Esther Hicks. One of my friends turned me on to her. And I've heard of her. She says some really good stuff. A lot of law of attraction stuff. And uh, really, really working on not just the thinking of positivity. It's constant practice. And for anyone that, that goes down this path, it's working on the feeling aspect of things. I get asked a lot. Because what I do, if you guys follow me on Twitter at Ryback22, people that, that kind of, uh, and it happens very little now in the grand scheme of things, which is great. But people that uh, reach out and try to uh, maybe be a little negative or attack and whatnot. And this is something from Gary Vaynerchuk. I love Gary. Fucking man, Gary. And uh, I'm going to be working with Gary in very near future with uh, his hero video team. I uh, talked to him a couple years ago and I wasn't ready yet for that. And uh, now that everything is in line and the health is back and I would... Uh, I think me and Gary, that guy, man, I dig, I dig his whole vibe. I like him because he's just, he's straight up. I have a, I have nothing but respect for people that that just speak their truth. And uh, he, he's dropped so much gold knowledge on people, but he practices empathy in feeling sorry for people. Eat the fucking burger! Shut the fuck up on your positivity! Fucking, you're supposed to always be hungry and kill people! Don't go Hulk Hogan on us! Much love, brother. Guys, when you're well-rounded, you can be a killer when you need to be a killer. And you can speak the truth when you need to speak the truth. You can laugh, you can have fun, you can be fucking sexy. That's my sexy look. You can do it all. You don't have to be limited. So what I'm getting at is Gary turned me on to, and I've had a lot of experience from a lot of hate and not giving any power to the negative or the positive to either, to either of it. And oftentimes what you'll see is I will respond with love and kindness. And there's a reason for that. We'll get to it in a minute. Let me work on this burger a bit. I'm running out of napkins, damn it. Why are they only three napkins for these juice? Burger King's being cheap.
Gotta go walk the dogs after this, too. The little guy gets pissed at me if I don't. They piss in the house if, I, if I'm not... If I don't give them enough attention, which I always give them attention, but they need a lot of attention. Like, I gotta carry a little guy around like a baby sometimes and, like, just literally rock him. They're ruined. They've been... They're, they're not ruined. It's the greatest thing ever, but... They need a lot of attention. <sighs> they piss in the house on me. So, I got... They got the carpet cleaner. Big guy's in the house cleaning. Like a little bitch. Jeez, if people saw what goes on, just me cooking and cleaning, taking care of the little kiddos. <laughs> uh, it's life. So anyways, guys, I respond with love and kindness because I'm actually now, I look at it as an opportunity. People go, why do you respond to that? Because these are hurt people. Hurt people try to hurt people for no reason at all. That's the only reason. So when you can, rather than get angry and letting them have control over your emotions, the positive of it is, is in ignoring it, doesn't stop the problem you can block them and mute them and that's fine but they're going to continue to hurt people because they don't understand so my method is responding with loving kindness and actually practicing feeling sorry for them and truly trying to have feel empathy for them that they're so hurt and they they're they're so whatever is just so bad in their life for whatever reason that they're trying to hurt other people. So by responding with love and kindness, you don't give them back what they gave you. And at the same time, you expose them to a larger audience. Uh, because most of the time, a lot of the people often don't have pictures and they have, they have zero followers or very few followers. So they're kind of, their presence is, is not really um, that strong with with on on social media so when you expose them to a larger audience they now are going to get the people that are going to critique the way that they're using social media so they're going to get i look at it as a double whammy i'm taking care of it in the best way humanly possible that we can through practicing empathy and feeling sorry for them and responding with love and kindness and now i can't control how other people are going to respond to them i wish everyone responded the same way <clears throat> not always going to be the case, but they actually then see the ramifications of acting that way. And hopefully in a perfect world, oftentimes they'll delete the post and, and they, they, I feel like they learned their lesson. Now, if they continue that, I don't know, because I'll usually mute them after that. And I never have any, I no idea about anything they ever do in the future. Don't think about it. But it's, to me, it's, it's, it at least gives them an opportunity to possibly help that person. Whereas when people ask, why don't you just ignore them? It doesn't help the situation. They're gonna hurt other people. It's like letting somebody go with a gun and shoot somebody and you don't, you don't, you don't do anything about it. They're gonna probably do it again. So that's just my way of uh, handling it. Back to the burger. <sighs> These are filling guys. These pretzel buns are no joke. Talk about being at the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> For you dumb and dumber fans out there. The gas man. Final piece, this big ass burger. Let me know in the comments, guys. What other food, what other food do you guys want me to try? You want me to try the McRib? I don't even know if I've ever had one. I 
I think I'm going to, because I've messaged Kimmy. Kimmy Granger likes to eat burritos in her car. We've talked about having her on the podcast. I think I'm going to hit her up and uh, see if she wants to eat a burrito with me sometime in here for Ryback TV. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments too down below. Kimmy Granger has no filter. No filter. That's coming from me. I like Kimmy. I don't watch porn, though. I just think... I like people that just are fucking themselves. That sounded wrong. Speaking about her. It really... It was actually very fitting. Yeah. But I like Kimmy. So... We'll see what we can do on that. She's, I think, in California, though. So it's not far. And I, I got to shoot down there for some stuff. So we got the Feed Me More Fitness videos coming as well, guys. Stay tuned. We've already knocked out the first one. I work out in a baggy shirt. The other ones, I believe we're going to be, I'll be going back down to the tank top. Just trying to get the best shape possible here. And I always wear baggy shirts. It just makes me comfortable. Just the way that I am. But I actually used to wear tank tops all the time. But ever since my shoulder injury... My right side got weird and atrophied a little bit and I came a little conscious just for me. I didn't want to like look in the mirror and see it. So I don't think about it, but it's all come back pretty much. So <clears throat> anyways, guys, these pretzel bun burgers, what are my thoughts on it? I had mustard. I had no mustard. I actually preferred the one with the mustard on it. It wasn't, it, it wasn't too strong. Um, that pretzel bun, they were, they were, I saw some reviews where people were talking about the bun kind of being a little overpowering. It was like, it was, it was so doughy. Like, you know, there's, they're, they're, those things are, they're heavy burgers. So I went, I got the doubles just to make sure there was enough meat on there. And uh, again, like I said, not a little bitch channel. We're, uh, when your catchphrase is feed me more and you know, you say, wake up, it's feeding time. You have a responsibility to the people to actually feed yourself. You know, it's like if you go and you go watch the gorillas at the zoo and, you know, all the people are just sitting there watching them in their, you know, in their environment and they're eating little, little, little berries. You'd be like, oh, that's weird. It doesn't look right. You know, you don't want to see that. Granted, you could do it in the privacy of your own home, but put yourself on camera. You got to look and fit the part. So anyways. I preferred the mustard over the non-mustard one. I thought the mustard tremendously added to the burger. Very tasty burger, great burger. I, I, I like the Burger King. I like the way the King does his burgers. The mayo there on for this particular burger <coughs> here in Vegas, I thought there was the perfect amount of mayo, the perfect amount of bacon. You know, sometimes they, those places will, you get little Steve who's uh, having a bad day or high as fuck working back there. And he just is slapping fucking mayo on like there's no tomorrow. Because he's trying to make Burger King lose a little bit on their mayo reserves. That wasn't the case. And uh, the cheese, it, was, it wasn't an over, a power, or over uh, abundance of cheese. I thought they it was a well-balanced burger on the doubles with those. And the pretzel bun is it was actually... Um, as advertised, it was a pretzel bun. It tasted like a pretzel bun, a very soft, a soft pretzel bun. It wasn't, it wasn't dry. I thought it was the perfect texture and it had the perfect amount of moisture in the bun. And I would highly recommend the Burger King uh, pretzel bun burger. If uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it two thumbs up, brother. And for what that was, a pretzel bun burger, I thought they delivered on all on, on all accounts i'm giving it five stars out of five stars five stars and if i was at the airport and i had a, i had to travel across country and i got that bk pretzel bun burger at the airport and i had to go to japan and do a wrestling match and i saved that burger until i got to japan six stars that good that good uh anyways guys comment below Hit that like, hit that down. I don't, I don't give a shit. I really, I, I really don't. I just enjoy yourselves. Just do it with love and passion, whatever you do. And leave in the comments what you guys want to see me do next. 
Thank you guys for subscribing. Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com and Amazon. In conversation with the big guy Ryback, my podcast. Please subscribe on any podcast platform or here on Ryback TV. Get hungry. Stay hungry. And never forget. Never forget those three words. Because you don't know when and you don't know where. You're going to hear those three words next. Feed me more. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all natural su my all natural supplement line. Supplement, supplement. Stupid. My all natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition. Available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching.